What's up guys? How are you? Hope you're all fine. Welcome to my channel and Ramadan Mubarak to everyone. May Allah accept all our prayers, our du'as and our fasting. In this video, I took you along with me through the whole first day of Ramadan. Starting with Suhoor and ending with Iftar, you saw everything from decorating my room to setting goals to preparing Iftar and a lot of interesting things. So without further talking, let's hop into the video. <laughs> The first day of Ramadan is very well known for its chaotic suhoors because either some people don't wake up for suhoor or they wake up five minutes before the fajr or just any chaotic thing happens that day and we were not the exception because the first day is also an adjustment to find what's the right time to wake up at so we were kind of in a rush that's why I didn't get to film a lot of things but I still wanted to share with you a little bit of the day and after we ate suhoor and prayed fajr I stayed in bed, I don't like to go back to sleep because I feel like I just go crazy because my brain is like, okay, so you just woke up but now you're going back to sleep so it's like, it's time to sleep and so it doesn't matter even if I put like 50 alarms, I will turn them all off and I will go back to sleep so it's just like, I prefer not to go back to sleep and instead of that, I filled my 5 minute Islamic journal and also my planner for the day As you saw in the previous clip, I filled that to-do list to the bottom and so I had a very long morning filled with a lot of things to do so I couldn't film anything but in the afternoon I did spare some time to decorate my room because if you saw my previous video we did decorate the whole house and it just brings so much joy it's so beautiful such a vibe and I wanted to bring some of that magic to my room so I printed some pictures brought the Quran and that beautiful Quran is from Morocco so I can give you any links or anything and just changed some candles and details here and there that made all the difference and I absolutely love it Then I went to Pinterest and looked for a very aesthetic and simple picture which I could write in it my goals for the month. So when I found the picture, I went to Canva, wrote in the picture, Ramadan goals, put some lines in there, and there I had my template to write my goals in it. And also, as you can see, I kind of had a theme with those pink flowers. I don't know why, but it just seems to be the buy for this Ramadan. So I think that there's no better way to start the month other than setting the goals that you want to accomplish during that month because that way you kind of have a tunnel vision on what are the things that you want to focus on. So I think it's important to set goals at the beginning of the month and I just set mine. So I thought I would walk you through them. The first one that I have is be more present in my prayers because I'm such an overthinker and my mind is never off. Like I'm all the time thinking about a thousand things at the same time. And so I don't want that. I just, I don't want to die and face my creator and be like, Okay, so whenever I was talking to you, because prayer is basically our moment of, you know, talking to God and he's always willing to listen to us and is there for us. But whenever I'm praying, I'm just physically present, but my mind is going on and off and on and off because it's just, I have to focus and I'm praying a little bit and then my mind, oh, I have this and I have a mad, ah, no, I have to pray again. And you know, I'm just all the time like that and I don't want that. Like I want to, whenever I step on my prayer mat, I'm just focusing on my prayer. The next one is learn new surahs. Uh, now, the thing is, when I was younger, I used to go to the masjid every single weekend. So we would learn new surahs every week. And I knew a lot of them. But with time, I kind of started to forget some of them. So I want to re-rememorize them, if that's even a thing. But I'm sure it's going to be easy, since they're there somewhere. I just have to find them and, <laughs> you know, bring them back. Then the next one is finishing reading the Quran. 
And I know that a lot of people have this goal, but struggle with it because they say, I don't have time. I'm always at work. I have school. I have exams. I have this. I have that. And so sometimes it gets, it gets hard. If you can read it, perfect. If you can't, just listen to it whenever you're studying whenever you're working whenever you're cleaning the house whenever you're doing anything listen to the quran that way you can still go through the whole quran during the month and you're gonna be getting your hasana the next one is making a lot of duress and i'm gonna connect it to the other one to the next one which is helping others and i want to connect them because uh, during this month the doors of jannah are wide open and every single good deed that we make is multiplied and at the same time every single draft that we make we have higher possibilities for it to get answered so we just don't want to miss on the opportunity to help others to you know to raise our score and at the same time get the things that we wish for also in that note while talking about making drafts don't forget to pray for our brothers and sisters may this month finally bring them peace because this cannot continue so just don't forget um in this month where our drafts have a higher possibility to be accepted just don't forget to pray for them the next one is making this ramadan enjoyable for my siblings because i'm the eldest so i want to make sure that my siblings also um have a nice experience with the ramadan and just you know make the most of it when i was younger i used to enjoy so much ramadan like my parents always made it so enjoyable for me and i just have such good memories and i want to participate in the making of these memories for my siblings too and the last one is learn more about islam because we love our religion and we truly believe in it but i'm sure that if we try to learn new things and just dig deeper in it I'm sure we would fall in love even more. And in this world where everyone is trying to hate our religion, it's important for us to learn more about it, to be able to strengthen our faith. And just no matter what everyone says, we know what we believe in. And we also get to defend our religion from all this hate. So yeah, those are my goals for the month. I'm sure I'm going to be trying different things and here and there. But the ones that I want to focus on are these ones. And so yeah, 